Welcome to Rio. Just imagine what our love could be You belong here with me Tattoo right here. Oh, awesome. You want to take a peek over here? Yeah. That's the original. No. Yeah. The first cable car in 1912. Wow. In 1912, this is what you would ride on. It looks a little more precarious, if you ask me. Every day here. Always feel you so new It's amazing What your love can do I belong here With you So come home Because I'm a doctor I'm just naturally you know I claim the title and so therefore I you know just have to be but sometimes I'm extra smart and I really surprise myself and I just had one of those moments where I've been wandering around I've seen a certain kind of nut that I absolutely love everywhere and I'm like it's in granola it's in everything it's in cookies this is amazing finally three days into our Brazil trip it dawned on me that's a Brazil nut that's a freaking Brazil nut. That's why you're seeing it everywhere. It's literally called a Brazil nut in the United States. You know, doctorates don't stupid proof you. You know, having a doctorate doesn't solve all your problems, guys. It really doesn't. Oh my gosh, guys, look at hey, this. I found a gremlin in real life. <laughs> oh my god. He's a total gremlin. <laughs> oh, 
touch my food, babe. Oh yeah. This crazy looking. Look at how cute he is. Closer, he's a little shy. Maybe it's um marmoset. That's what it's called, it's a marmoset. That little guy's so crazy looking. Okay, so we made it halfway and we found a friend. Super cute. Um and now we're gonna go the rest of the way. So up the mountain. Uh, you see the yellow one? Yes. Uh, at the coast? Oh yeah, they just started. Yeah, they just started. Yeah, they just started. Yeah. The name of that route is crazy. Oh god, we're swinging. We're totally swinging. It's windy and we're swinging. <laughs> <laughs> Keep here the wind. There you go. Oh, it's like an adult swing. Mm. Mm. And we're out in the open. We're going about 30 miles an hour. Maybe 20, at least 25 miles an hour. We're cruising. We're cruising. that out now I just read up on it and it's really cool the James Bond scene was filmed right here yeah, exactly yeah. there's literally just a mountain look Got an idea to connect these two amazing rocks essentially, and so that's how Sugarloaf Mountain came about. This is honestly, I think, considered to be an icon of all of Brazil. Um, I think it was really groundbreaking, no pun intended, in the day um, and really something that's that's very celebrated and probably the most well-known thing besides the Amazon in Brazil. This is definitely an icon for uh, Rio. Obviously the emphasis is uh, sugar. They had a big sugar cane um, manufacturing uh, distribution, creation, harvesting and um, it's cool to see how uh, people think uh, creatively out of the box and they come up with something like let's connect those big huge things with cable a hundred and uh, 12 years ago something like that or a hundred and something years ago amazing cool. it'll be fun they said they'll love it so babe yes what do you think is the draw what? Why do people come here? Uh, for the view. What do you mean? Well, they could go to Christ Redeemer for the view, but yeah. you think that's the main thing? People just want to come and see the view? You pay $20 to see the view? Or is there yeah. something more? Yeah. So, my recommendation 
option is to come all the way up to the top and go to the bar up here instead of the restaurant. They have those down there to get you distracted and get you full because there's really only like maybe 25 tables up here at the most. And so um, today we came up here and I got myself a massive caipirinha. This is the national drink of Brazil and I think I've decided as long as we're in Brazil, I'm only going to drink these and wine of course, but you know, you drink wine all around the world. Um, because I mean, when in Rome, right? When we were in Venice, we had Bellinis, the best Bellinis ever, so I'm looking forward to the best Caipirinhas ever. Okay, Sugarloaf, we are about ready to board the last tram, and the question would be, is it worth it? 100% worth it, you totally should do it on your own, don't do it on TripAdvisor or with a tour company, it's not needed, um, so easy to get to, and really fun. Look up, when you're here, the stuff on Wikipedia, you can find out all about it. And this is why the Brazilian blowouts a thing, because in this weather, my hair just does its own thing. I got mine blowout too before we came up. What do you think? It's good. cheap right now uh, we got a uber here for only a dollar and a half to, from Copacabana Beach and then we are getting the uber back for like $3.50 what a vibe 1957 newspaper style menu 